What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. And in this video we're going to be going over cross-ups. Cross-ups are something that I've covered before in other videos, but I've received a lot of requests to cover them again, so this time I thought I'd do a small focused video just on cross-ups. I really don't mind going over them again because they are that important to your offensive game, especially in a fast-paced game like Dragon Ball Fighters, where every combo matters. So what exactly is a cross-up? Well, the definition for the term is very loosely stated as being an attack that's hard for the opponent to block visually. Most of the time when people use the term cross-up though, they're referring specifically to aerial attacks that hit on the side the opponent wasn't expecting to block on. Think attacks from Street Fighter. In Dragon Ball Fighters, however, cross-ups work a little bit differently, but they're still applied in the same sense to open up your opponent. You know you have to block lows by crouching with down back, and you have to block overheads by blocking with standing back, and cross-ups are just another tool to open up your opponent with. It forces them to pay attention to your offense instead of just blocking low and blocking high. Now they also have to worry about whether or not you're going to attempt to cross them up, and if you do, if you're going to hit them with a high or low on that side. You can see this principle applied here where I have Vegeta holding back, so he'll block this first attack, but the second attack will catch him off guard and lead into a combo for me. It's a really powerful tool and if you get the hang of it, it can really open your offense up. But while they may be similar in application, crossing somebody up in Dragon Ball Fighters is very different from Street Fighter. In Street Fighter, the hitboxes are big enough to the point where you can hit them from behind where your move would normally hit, whereas in Dragon Ball Fighters, you have to wait for your character to automatically turn around. This means that timing your cross-up attack in Dragon Ball Fighters can be a bit tricky at first. The key to getting your timing down is to instant air dash over your opponent or super jump and see the point at which your character is turning around to face them. Try to keep note of that timing and work it into your cross-up attacks. If you're too early and miss the timing, it'll look like this, and if you hit the sweet spot, it should look a little something like this. After you hit the cross-up, it's just a matter of converting that into a combo, which is easy enough. There are a few things you should keep in mind when learning cross-ups for your characters, starting with the fact that you can't cross somebody up with an assist on the screen. I think Piccolo's assist is a little special in this regard, but with most assists in the game, if they're out on the screen, as long as your opponent is blocking in a direction, you won't be able to hit him on the other side. Some other things to consider include the fact that not all characters are created equally with cross-ups in mind, some characters are going to have an easier time doing it than others, and for most characters you're going to want to use their medium attack as it has the longest reach while also not pushing your opponent too far away from you. The last thing you're going to want to keep in mind when learning cross-ups is that you don't want to abuse these too often. The best way to implement them in my opinion is to have a block string and do that on your opponent a couple of times to condition them to block those certain hits in that order. Then once you realize they're respecting your block string, feel free to mix in some cross-ups to open them up. Don't rely on cross-ups alone to get damage. You can also mix in some grabs in there as well. And just in general, add in other ways to apply pressure on offense. Cross-ups are a great tool, but using them alone is a great way to get yourself punished. Hopefully this video helps out those of you who have requested me to cover cross-ups again in a standalone video. Really, once you master the timing of the cross-up, the rest should come with just a little bit of practice. If you have any questions or tips on cross-ups, make sure you go into the comments section down below and try to help out other people that may be confused. I'll be down in the comments as always. While you're down there, if you like this video and enjoy the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. My name's Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.